thought about all this stuff before, and I had sort of a number of thoughts, so I'll just kind of say it, I guess, I guess, however it is that I can say it, it's interesting because these people, um, if I say the word celebrity one more time, right, I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> No, but the thing is, they, they really, the thing about them that's kind of frustrating and kind of difficult to understand, although I think it's not that difficult to understand, is that there's a side of them that is not immature, that is not, you know, ragingly disgusting, that's not disrespectful, and that's like sort of the side that they just sort of like, like, show to interviewers. You know, like I was every once in a while like watch sort of the inter interviews with these people or have at times. And they, present themselves as sort of perfectly reasonable, you know, intelligent, well-spoken people. And then, you know, on their own, you get them into situations, right, like right out in front of, right out in front of everybody, too, where they're just, like, so horrifyingly ignorant and disrespectful. And I feel like, all right, well, I think, I mean, I have said this before, the entertainment industry is an industry, um, which is, a, I think, maybe one of the last one of the last bastions of just totally, um, oh, I don't, even, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Totally, um, untouched misogyny, right? Because like, they, they have had, um, sort of the, the ability to abu abuse their freedom, the idea of free speech. When, of course, they're totally repressive of women, totally oppressive of, of women, minorities, you know, all, all of that sort of thing, have twisted people's thoughts and minds around for just like a hundred years. A hundred years, and they, and they get away with it by just saying, okay, well, you know, women and minorities, if you don't if you don't want to be in this movie, you know, just the way it is, or if you don't want to be in this TV show, or if you don't want to sing this song, do this dance just the way I say, you can just go do something else. And that's, and that's how not only do you turn away, that a lot of people will just be like sickened by it, and they will, they will just be like, all right, I guess, you know, even though I'm a talented, uh, singer, dancer, actor, writer, whatever it is, I'm just going to do something else with my life because I can't, the, the industry is too disgusting for me, it's too degrading, and I'm not going to do that. And then you also get people who have uh, far fewer scruples and probably, you know, for the most part, less talent, and they're the ones who get the parts. They're the ones who get paid, they're the ones who end up, you know, being these highly paid entertainers, um, doing exactly what the industry has wanted them to do, right? That's, that's kind of how it works. So there, there's kind of that sort of the overall scheme of how it is. And then there's also just, I don't know, I mean, I think that that, that entire setup really um, allows people to stay very, very childish in their behavior. I don't even want to say adol ad ad childish, adolescent, I don't even, uh, immature. Immature, I think maybe is a better word. Immature, twisted up, um, really nasty. Um, you know, and of course their money makes them attractive to all sorts of people who have like, a coarse way of, of dealing with things and who have fewer mor morals and are not independent and that kind of thing. And so it's just kind of this self-perpetuating cycle. You know, you, 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 you work in an industry that refuses to respect women. Um, and then, if we're, we're going to talk about it in terms of gender, you work in an industry that refuses to res respect women. And so, for the most part, the only women that you get around you are women who uh, don't respect themselves, don't even know the meaning of the word respect, for themselves, they th they think it means they think it means like winning out over the other girl, or you saying, "Oh, you're the most beautiful thing I ever saw," you know. And that's I mean, whatever, you know. There's 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 no there's no such thing as the most beautiful woman in the world. It just isn't, you know. I mean, there's just billions of people out there. You know, probably the most beautiful people in the world, people you never saw, you never you never saw, you're never going to see in your life. You know, it's just, just too many people in the world for it to be anything other than just kind of ridiculous. You know, the idea that, oh, the most beautiful woman in the world, uh, no, 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 you know, it just, that, that, that just doesn't even exist. And there's so many different types of beauty, you know, it's just, uh, and it's not, it's not really worth that much ultimately, you know, because what are you, you going to do? You know, if, if, if you are dating someone solely on the basis of how she looks, you might as well just kind of be dating just like, what do you, you could, you could, you could just like, you know, cut out, cut out a picture in a magazine, paste it over the face of whatever woman that you're with and have sex with her. You know, I don't, I, well, what do you want me to say? And I think also just kind of this like chronic disrespect, just a chronic disrespect for women is also I think probably a, a serious cause of infidelity. You know, because what is it, what is it that you're doing when you're dating someone, right? I mean, eventually every, everything about the person that attracted you is not going to be able to balance out 
just how how just how disrespectful you really are towards women. And if you're disrespectful towards someone, you know, you you you, you are never gonna feel, you're never gonna feel close to that person. You know, you're never gonna feel really really good about the relationship. You're not gonna feel good about yourself. I mean, don't you want to be friends with the person that you're dating? You want you want to be friends with the person, right? I mean, like what you spend too much time with them to just not be friends. I mean, what you want you want to just like have a relationship where there's no, there's no there's no discussion, there's no nothing except you know whatever it is you feel like you have to do to lead up to like a moment of having satisfying sex. You know, I mean, and I suppose I suppose when you're feeling more like being close to quote someone, anyone, because you're kind of kind of craving it. You know, having some, some sort of actual intimacy, you'll be closer to that person, and then other time. But it won't really even have anything to do with them. It's just that you feel you feel like being closer to someone on that particular day, and then other times you're not going to feel that way. And eventually, the whole thing is just going to start to seem like really, oh, well, just like everything else, just like just like every other experience you ever had. And you'll start looking around for somebody else, you know, who is like has a, you know. A, more variety, somebody different, someone who looks different, or someone who looks the same but sounds different, or you know, some other, some other, some other mannequin at the store. Because in your mind, everyone's just kind of a mannequin. You're just kind of a mannequin. It's, I mean, why would you? You wouldn't choose like a guy friend to spend time with, like a lot, if you did not respect the person. You know, didn't didn't and just felt felt just kind of like I don't know. Contempt, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like decide to be like friends with a guy, um, really like actually friends with a guy, if you had contempt for him, right? One, three, six, two, two, right? So why? Well, so and it, so eventually, all your closest relationships are just going to be with your guy friends, you know? I mean, and then sex is always just going to be kind of this like recreational activity, you know? And I would, I would think it would must be a very lonely feeling, you know. After, after, and after a while, you know, nobody, nobody ever is able to like relieve your loneliness that way. You know, there's, there's, there's nobody that you're close to, no female that you're close to. And then there's also a question of like, you know, female friends. Like there are people you could be friends with and not have sex with them. You just, I mean, the whole, the whole thing is just like people are shutting themselves out from like the, the world of women, the way it really is. And that's a tragedy for you. That is your tragedy, right? That you miss out on that all the time. I'll tell you what, I never have felt that I'm missing out on anything by not dating a guy who's like disrespectful towards women in general. No, I have, I have never felt that way. Don't, don't think that I have because I haven't. I would choose every, 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 every single day of what I have been through, you know, rather than to actually allow somebody like that into my life. And that's what I've done.